Okay, it's already 1.30. So, we will start now our class. So, Perpetual Calendar is the continuation of our module. Wait, tingnan ko muna kung anong module na to. Okay, it's a module 4 on applications of congruences. So, um, um, I know that some of your teachers have already told you by next week, is um, mental awareness week so bale wala pong klase yan for for a week so i will not meet you on next week but we will meet on next next week that is december 7 and next next week is already the last week of our class because um tag um a week after next next week which is December 17, uh, 15, 7, 6, 15, 16, 17, I guess, wait lang, no? 15, 16, 17, so next, next week na yan, in the second week of December, so <clears throat> it's already the final exam week. Because of that, um, instead of adding another module, this will be our last module. Kasi yung isang module, medyo mahaba-haba pa din yun. So, ito na lang muna. Hanggang dito lang po tayo sa module na ito. Hence, you are going to expect um, activities for this um, perpet I mean, perpetual calendar as well as your quiz. Quiz 4 will be on the December 7. So, may quiz 4 po kay December 7. And on uh, this coming Thursday, you're going to expect a activity regarding this perpetual calendar. Okay? So, by next next week, which is December 7, hindi po tayo mag meet But you're going to do is to have your quizzes, a uh, quiz number 4. At the same time, prepare for your final exam as well as um, do the other activities na hindi pa po natin nagawa. Okay, so that's it. So this will be our last uh, meetup for this um, subject, Math 7, Number Theory. Ito yung ating last lecture. Hence, on the final exam, meron po tayong uh, Module 3 and 4 na kasamang topic. As well as yung Module 2 na nasa... Uh, you need to ata yun yung hindi nakasama sa midterm exam. Okay? So, that's it, no? So, now we will continue with the applications of congruences. So, um, last last week, I already discussed the um, the first part of the applications of congru congruences, which is the divisibility test. So, ang divisibility test, Meron tayong the powers of 2, the powers of 5, the power uh, the, the 3 and 9, as well as the 11, 7, and the 13. Now, we will be focusing on the perpetual calendar. Yang nakikita ninyo sa screen. Wait. Parang wala akong... Wait lang ah. Nasaan? Wala akong makitang line. Ano? Wait lang. Ay, hindi, ko hindi ako makasulat. Wait.
Yeah, I'm so sorry. There's something wrong with my PowerPoint. So, hindi po ako makasulat. Ayan. So, going back. Ganito na explain ko na lang. No? So, as you can see, yung dito sa taas, this one here, this is the formula of the perpetual calendar. Where W is for the week. For example, um, for the November 23 of 1991, we would like to know what day of the week is November 23, 1991. Is this a um, Saturday, Friday ba, Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday? So, yun po yung gusto nating malaman. And as you can see, this letter K is the day of the month. Um, this one is the formula where M is um, the month. As you can see here, ito dito sa side. Yan, no? January ele is 11, February is 12. So, in that day, uh, in this time, or in this year, yung sino nag-create po ng formula na ito, ang kanilang first, uh, first, I mean, in, a, in such a year, no, put, sa atin kasi January ang magsa-start ng bagong taon. Pero yung sa kanila, March po yung bagong taon. Wait. March po yung bagong taon. Okay? So, we have here the month. So, for example, if it's January, then we will use 11. And if it's already March, we will use it 1. So, later on, makikita natin yan to an example, no? And minus 2C, where the C is the century. Ang century is either, for example, 1991. So, ibig 91 ang century. Wait lang, ha? Okay, so we will continue. No? Um, we, have, we have here um, the C is for the century and the Y is for the particular year. Tinang natin no? later on yan. As you can see, no, ang alam natin is N is a year, where N is the current year unless the month is January or February, in which case N is the previous year and when N is 100 C plus the Y. So later on, tinang natin yan, no? Um, okay, as you can see here, it's in modulo 7 because of that um, we have only 7 days in a week. Kaya nga, modulo 7 yung ginamit. Kasi we're talking about what day of the year, uh, what day of this uh, November 23, 1990 will be on, uh, November 23 will be on the 1990 year. Ganyan. And also... As you can see, nakikita tayo, this is not a bracket. It means that you're getting the, um, tawag dyan, yung belong stream, yung absolute value, pero yung hindi lang siya, may, may term kasi, I forgot the term na ginagamit, kasi meron din yan siya pataas. It means that you run off if ever it's a decimal fraction, a decimal place, may decimal places po siya, hindi siya whole number, ira-round off mo siya. Pero since this is pababa, nasa baba po yung kanyang line, as you can see this one, it means that you're getting the um, uh, the whole number only. Disregard nyo lang po yung decimal fraction. There's no need for you to round it off. Okay? So we have an example here. Ayan. For example, if you want to find the day of the week of January 1, 1990, we all know that January 
is on the 11th day, uh, 11th month. Hindi po siya yung first month. So what will be the the century, the year, and the month? Okay. So since January is January is 11, so instead of 1900, it will be in 1899. Why? Because if sa ating year yan, um, January 1 will be the first uh, first month of the year. But since January 1, uh, January is still on the 11th month of the year, then we will not use the 1900. We will go back to the previous one because kasama po siya sa previous year. So, dapat 1899 po siya. And so, with the February, okay? For example, we have February 3, 1900. So, you, uh, since February is 12, so you move it into 1899. How about if we have March 1, 1900? March is already the first week. So, 1900 na siya. Hindi na siya imumumu pababa. Uh, imu pabalik. Okay? Ayan. C is equals to 18. Okay, take note ha. January and the February only yung imumove natin. Hindi na kasama si November, December. Kasi si November, December, nandun naman siya. Kasama na siya sa month. Yun lang si January and February. Kasi si January and February, nasa kabilang year na siya. Pero part sa during the perpetual calendar, part siya sa 11th and the 12th month okay, of the year. So we have here, so the century is 18. So kung kunin mo lang yung first two sa 1899, so century nyo is 18 and the year is 1999. We have the month is 11 because sa January 11, and K which is the uh, day which is 1. Okay? So this is the formula, then substitute the formula. So we have the 1 is the K. So, M is the 11, century is 18, and the year is 1999. Ayan. So, if you're going to multiply 26 times 11 minus 0 0.2, 28 point something yan. Since we're only getting the the whole number, whole number lang po yung kukunin. Disregard the decimal fraction, so automatic po 28 yan. And so, with the 99 divided by 4, kukunin lang yung Of course, same pa rin sa 99 divided by 4. Kukunin mo lang yung 24. The whole, uh, the, just round it off the whole number. And so, with the 18 divided by 4, kukunin lang yung whole number. Ay, sorry. Disregard yung sinabi ko, round off the whole number, no? Um, 99 divided by 4, that is 24 point, 24 point something. So, just get the whole number. 18 divided by 4 is will be the 4 point something. So, just get the whole number. Disregard the decimal numbers. Okay? Then, do the basic operation. So, 1 plus 28 minus 36 plus 99 plus 24 plus 4 mode 7. So, this give us 120 mode 7. And if you're going to divide 120 divided by 7, you're going to have a remainder of 1. So, 120 mode 7 is just congruent to its remainder, which is 1 mode 7. So, ano si 1? Ang 1 is January. So, hence, January 1, may problema talaga aking PowerPoint. I'm so sorry about this. So, hence, January 1, 1900 is on Monday. Because January 1 is... Monday. Okay? So, Monday po ang 1. Take note of that. Monday is 1. Okay? Wait lang.
Okay, so that's it, no? So, dapat, um, um, ang mangyayari, no? Pag one is, that is Monday. Pag two ang lumabas, that is Tuesday. Pag three, Wednesday. Pag four, Friday. And, ay, wait. One is Monday, two is Tuesday, three is Wednesday, four is Thursday, five is the Friday, six is the Saturday, and seven, or seven or zero. Kasi mode seven yung ginagamit. So, there will be no seven, but you are going to have a remainder of zero. Because seven mode seven is just congruent to zero mode seven. So, zero will be your Sunday. Ayan. So, for example, if you want to find also the day of the week of October 12, 19, of October 12, 1492. Okay? So, we since October 12 is part of the year, kasi yun lang yung problema natin, yung January and February. So, yun lang yung sinasubtract yung ating year. Pero since October 12, hindi na po kasama yan. So, therefore, our century is 14. Our year is 92. Our month will be 8 because October is on the 8th month. And, and the K is 12. So what will be the day of the week of October 12, 1492? So we will just substitute this value to the formula. Ayan. And then we have this one. Do the basic operation. So 12 plus 20 minus 28 plus 92, plus 23, plus the 3. And we have the 122 mode 7. So just divide 122 to the 7. This will give us a remainder of 3. So what will be the 3? So 0 is the Sunday, 1 is Monday, 2 is Tuesday, 3 is Wednesday. So therefore, October 12, 1492 is on Wednesday. Okay, so ganun lang po, no? Ay, sorry. So that is how you're going to get the perpetual calendar. Yun lang. Yun lang, mag-substitute lang kayo sa formula ang, ang, ang trabaho ni perpetual calendar. Ayan. Okay, so we're done with the perpetual calendar. Now we go to the round-robin tournaments. So, round-robin tournaments is mostly used in playing the badminton and other things. Sa round-robin kayo gumagawa. Okay? So, what is this round-robin tournaments? So, round-robin tournaments is a congruence that can be used to schedule round-robin tournaments. So, to schedule a tournament for n different teams... So that each team plays every other team exactly once. So kung, kung, kay, kung yung game mo is to compete each and every one, therefore, round, to, round robin tournament is the best uh, process that you can use. This will create a schedule for the different, uh, for the end different teams. So this was developed by Prude. So ito yung formula, no? Where I, J are team member, a team number, K is the round number, and N is the number of teams. Okay, so this one is getting who will be, for example, si team I. Sino yung kal kalaban niya? So this will create kung sino magiging kalaban mo. Ito yung formula. Well, this one, the other one, yung sa right side. Yung 2i congruent to k mode n minus 1. This is a formula where we can found what team, I mean, uh, what round will a certain team na magiging buy siya. Okay? So, titignan natin yan. For example, if you want to schedule a round robin tournament with 5 teams, where n is 5, so 5 teams po tayo, so n mo is 5, and that is an odd number. So therefore, we need to include 1 as a dummy team. Itong si dummy team ay magiging, for example, pag uh, magiging kaka-compete niya yung si dummy, so buy siya. Ibig sabihin, mag-wait po siya 
Uh, I mean, wala po siyang game for that certain round. Ayan. Kasi wala man siya kalaban. Kasi it's a five team. Mahirapan po tayo pag add number. Kasi may time, may round na yung isa ay walang kalaban. So, yun po yung kailangan po natin gumawa ng dami team. This is only true if um, you have add teams. For example, mayroon tayong five teams, three teams, seven teams. Okay, yung mga add lang, add number. Okay, so for instance, for instance in round one, team one will play with team five. Bakit? Yan. It's because... Ang kailangan nating formula, di ba? Sample, this is I plus the J congruent to 1 mode 5. Bakit itong 1? Because we want on a round 1. Kaya nga, 1 to dito. Pag we're talking about round 2, so magiging 2 po yan. So going back tayo sa formula, no? Ayan. K is the number of, uh, is the round number. Ayan. So, since we are on the round 1, so si K po ay 1. Mode 5 because our uh, we have only 5 teams. So, mode 5. Kahit nagkaroon na tayo ng dami, it doesn't mean na we're going to use mode 6. No. Because we still have, in actual, 5 teams lang. Yung isa is a dami team. Okay? So, we have 1 plus J is congruent to 1 mode 5. Ano naman to si 1? This is team 1 because we have I plus J. Si I and J are the team number. So, if we're talking about team 1, so ilalagay natin si 1 dito. Ngayon, paano malaman natin sino yung kasama niya? I mean, sino yung kalaban ni team 1 sa round 1? Sinabi dito sa answer, kasama, ang kalaban niya ay si team 5. So, titignan natin. Because, bakit daw? Anong number i-add natin kay 1 para magbibigay sa atin ng 1 congruent, a uh, 1 mode 5? So, just add 5 plus 1, it gives us 6. So, ano yung i-add natin dito sa 1 para magiging 6 siya? So, therefore, ang kailangan natin ay si 5. Yun po yung ibig sabihin dyan. So, you need um 5 I mean, five, uh, the team 5 to fight with team 1 in the round 1. How about si team 2? In round 1, sino ang kalaban ni team 2? Sinabi dito, it will play with team 4. Paano nakuha yan? Ayan. So, we have team 2 plus the J, sino man yan, is congruent to 1 mode 5. So, we have 1 plus 5, which is 6. What will we add sa 2 para maging 6 siya? Therefore, kailangan mo si 4. So, we have 2 plus 4, that is 6, which is congruent to 1 mode 5. And so on. Depende na yan sa iba. Wait lang ha. Okay, sorry for that, no? 
So, if ever you're talking about round 2, so ito lang yung change nyo. Dito yan sa 1. Ito dito. So, pag round 2, 2 mode 5. Pag round 3, 3 mode 5. Ganun yun. Okay? So, we have another example. We have a 5 teams. So, to determine the team which will play with the dummy team, yung yung magiging buy. Kasi buy siya ang tawag doon. Kasi wala, ka, wala siyang kasama. Ibig sabihin, on that round, wala po siyang um, game. So, paano yan? Wait lang, ha? Okay, so to determine what team will be play to the dummy team na makonsider natin as buy or wala siyang game on that day. So yung formula yung gagamit, gagamitin natin yung sa right side which is 2 eyes congruent to K mode N minus 1. So in round 1, the buy is team 3. Bakit? Because 2 eyes congruent to 1 mode 5. Ano to N minus 1? Dito, naging n minus 1 na siya. Kasi, um, um, we use 5 teams plus the 1, which is 6. So, magiging 5 na yan siya. Pero, pwede naman mode n na lang, pwede tayo malito. So, since we're considering the 5 teams, so mode 5 na po tayo diretso. Okay, so we have 2i congruent to 1 mode 5. So, in round 1, sino yung magiging by? So, what, ang, ang 1, 1 mod 5, so i-add natin yung 5 plus the 1, it give us 6. So, ano i-multiply natin kay 2 para magiging 6? So, kailangan natin si 3. That is, 6 is congruent to 1 mod 5. Therefore, in round 1, the buy is team 3. Or, for example, in round 2, sino yung buy? Sorry, no, hindi ako makasulat. So, 2 ay congruent to 2. So, round 2 na yun. 2i congruent to 2 mod 5. So, 5 plus the 2 is 7. Or, ano yan, no? Kasi, ano i-multiply natin kay 2 para magbibigay sa ating ng 2 mod 5? Automatically, the 1 itself. The 1 pala. So, 2 times the 1, it gets up congruent to 2 mod 5. Therefore, in round 2, the buy is team 1. So, ganun yun. So, if you're going to create um, a table, so magiging ganyan siya, tinan nyo. In round 2, ang buy is, I mean, in round in round 1, ay, sorry, in round 2, rather, ang buy is team 1. So, in round 4, buy po natin si team 2. In round 1, buy po natin si team 3. In round in round 3, buy po natin si team 4. And in round 5, buy po natin si team 5. And then, in getting kung sino yung round 1 magpapait kay kada team. So, ito na yun. No? In round 1, ang magpapait kay team 1 is 5. In round 1, ang magpapait kay team 2 is 4, parang ganyan. Okay? So, yun po yung ginagamit kay round robin. So, you need to use the round robin to determine which teams will fight on round 1 and which team ang magiging by in round 1 and etc. So, that's it. So, by Thursday, you're going to expect an a problem set number uh, problem set activities regarding the perpetual calendar as well as the round robin tournament.
And then, take note, next week, we will not meet nor any activities to be uploaded on next week. Kasi that is a mental health week, we are not allowed to give you lectures or passing of outputs. So, we will uh, meet again on December 7. But take note, we will not meet, but you're going to expect for the quiz. Kasi ito na yung aking last lecture. I will not anymore include another module because of the limited time. I mag, uh, by after next, next, after December 6, will be your, meet, uh, your final exam already. Okay? So, posting of announcements and updates will be in our classroom or in our group chat. So, just wait for it. But, take note, your quiz is on December 7, 1 to 2.30 only, regarding the applications of congruences, which is chapter or which is module 4, and your activity on, regarding perpetual calendar and um, round-robin tournament will be on this coming Thursday, which is November 25. So, do you have any questions regarding our topic today? My questions ba? I guess no questions, no? Silence mean, claro yan, ha? Okay, so if no more questions, so I'm done with my lecture. So it's already 2 o'clock, so 30 minutes ko lang nagamit, no? Because limited time lang po yan. Okay, so please open your camera for my documentations today. Hi, wait. Wait lang, ha? Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, guys, thank you for your time. So, stay safe and God bless. So, advance congratulations. Just be sure, completo po yung ating activities. That is why on the December 7, we will not going to have a class anymore but only quiz and please pass us, do the activities and, uh, and pass it, okay? So, our final exam will be scheduled on December 16. Okay, so mag-announce lang po ako ng updates sa ating group chat. Okay, thank you, stay safe, and God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye, ma'am. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you.
Ayun na lang, tatlo. Hello guys, Melanie.